The 2014 regulation changes were inspired by the FIA to ensure that the technology within Formula One um, is well aligned with the road car technology of the day. Um, and two key regulations were introduced. Um, one is that um, there's only 100 kilograms for the race distance to be used and the flow rate that you can spend that at is at a maximum of 100 kilograms per hour. To do this, we focused on four areas of engineering, including software. Hi, I'm John Goodman, Performance and Controls Team Leader. In order to be able to operate the power unit, it's most efficient um, and, deliver, um, and deliver reduced lap times. We need to be able to manage the interactions between the electrical machines and the internal combustion engine, and that leads us to, to be needing to manage that energy flows between those machines in order to be able to deliver the power unit at its most efficient. Typically the fuel will be burnt to generate our, most of the power that the driver feels to be accelerating, but there's also some, some of that fuel that gets captured as part of, the, as part of the MGUH, and that gets converted into electrical energy and stored back in the battery as chemical energy. That energy then is, is available at the driver's disposal to use later on through the lap, at which point when he is wanting to use it, it would then be turned back from chemical energy back into electrical energy that would be able to make the MGUK um, deploy the MGUK and, and increase the car speed. Over a race distance, typically the power unit electronics would perform 43 trillion calculations. Um, that's quite a few.